Just an hour outside of Toronto lies a farm where one of the most exciting and unusual types of ecological restoration projects in Canada is taking place right now. Grasslands are really significant habitats because those habitats are at risk and are largely evaporating in our province. Just a few years ago, landowner Naomi Simpson decided to do something about that by creating native grassland on her farm with the help of Grasslands Ontario and their partners. The so first thing we're going to get is soil so, carbon. Okay. This is to look for organic carbon buildup in the soil. Today, Shannon Stevens, a biologist with one of Grasslands Ontario's local delivery partners, is on site to visit the flagship project. In Ontario, native tall grass prairie and grasslands have really diminished. It's about 98% of southern Ontario's native grasslands have been lost over time. These ecosystems are under constant threat of being lost to human activity and land development. But here on this farm, Shannon sees opportunity. You start with basically a blank canvas, like it was previously a soybean field that had pretty high erosion and runoff. So it's really great to come back every year because it's kind of an act of hope. In just three short summers, Grasslands Ontario and its local delivery partner, the Nottawasaga Valley Conservation Authority, have created 56 acres of native grassland on Naomi's farm. It's funny that a lot of people think of, when they think of prairie and savannah specifically, they think of, you know, Saskatchewan driving out west, but we have prairie and savanna in Ontario. Unfortunately, prairie and savanna is greatly threatened in Ontario. The project has been a game changer in terms of protecting biodiversity, providing much needed habitat for pollinators and species at risk, and even helping to mitigate flooding and climate change. I didn't really expect to see such a difference. And I've, in just a short time, seen like all sorts of really interesting birds and an increase in insect life and frogs. So it's been really, really rewarding. Since 2019, Grasslands Ontario, a division of not-for-profit Forests Ontario, has helped to create, enhance, or maintain thousands of acres of grasslands, providing both funding and technical support through the Grassland Stewardship Initiative. Primarily, we operate as a funding program. We provide support uh, logistically, technically, and through funding to complete grassland restoration projects and really raising the level of awareness in Ontario of what grasslands have to offer. A few hundred kilometers southwest, a similar story is playing out on Ed Bolton's farm in Middlesex County, just outside of London, Ontario. It was a cornfield. The whole thing was uh, 100 acres of corn. Today, a portion of Ed's farm has been given over to grasslands restoration. And like Naomi, it all started with a call to a local delivery partner that works with Grasslands Ontario. We went out to his uh, farm and he expressed interest in restoring grassland on his property. He's uh, really interested in the different birds and he wanted to really see those come back on the property. My passion, I guess, I've always loved birds and you need the prairie grass for the bobolinks and all these grassland birds. The transformation of Ed's property has created desperately needed habitat for species on the brink. I was 13 years old was the last time I seen a bobolink in southwestern Ontario. And now the bobolinks are here. So it was beautiful. It's a sanctuary. And, and I love it. I mean, yeah, when I come back, my stress is gone. The work that Grasslands Ontario and its delivery partners are doing with landowners and farmers like Ed and Naomi is still in its infancy. But the long-term potential to protect one of the most endangered ecosystems as well as manage agricultural grasslands for species at risk in Ontario is enormous. Grasslands have a lot to offer in terms of food source throughout the season. So as you get towards the fall, you hear the goldfinch calling in the back. You have your sparrows and finches coming through and feasting on seed in the fall. Native grasslands are also one of North America's most important ecosystems in terms of its ability to mitigate flooding and climate change. Prairie ecosystems, um, when you look at the grasses here, it's almost uh, like an iceberg. You're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. A lot of the growth that you see is actually underground in the root systems. They can extend 
probably twice the size of uh, the grasses. One of the super cool things about the native grasses is how deep rooted they are. And so when people think of like a tree, the reality of most trees is like most of their root system is within the top foot. But the native grasses have root systems that go down two to four meters. That helps make lots of porous soils. And so when the rain does fall and fall in those larger amounts during the big storm events, that helps that deeper infiltration, which not only prevents flooding, but also recharges your groundwater. Grasslands are also incredibly adept at capturing carbon. You might have heard of things like carbon offsetting. So one of the things that the grasslands do is they store a lot of carbon underground for that whole four meter profile. In addition to planting native grasslands, Naomi has also planted thousands of trees on her property through Forest Ontario's 50 million tree program. Both Naomi and Ed are part of a growing movement to help restore critical habitat. And thanks to Grasslands Ontario, they've been able to create new native grassland habitats for generations to come. I think the main thing is that we all can do something. We all have a role to play. My next door neighbor said, thank you so much for doing this. This is so important. And you know, this is a gift you're giving to, to my children, which I've, I'm like choked up just thinking about that. But it is a gift, you know, for other generations because this is what's going to protect our environment and we desperately need to protect our environment. To find out how you can help, visit grasslandsontario.ca.